Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to install Python on Windows. So basically we just have to type that Python download and you just have to click this www.python.org slash downloads and we just have to download. For example, I'm going to download uh, maybe this version 3.5.2. Okay, let's click on the download. Let's go to the download file section and basically we just have to download the Windows 64 executable installer. Okay, so let's click on it. It's going to download the Python. Let's right click open containing folder and we just have to double click it. Okay, it's very important to click this that add Python to the path. It's quite important because if you open a command line and type the Python command, Python command is not recognized as an internal or external command. So that's why we have to add it to the path. Or if you echo out the path, you can make sure basically that the Python is not on the path. So basically that's why we have to click it, add Python 3.5 to the path to be able to use Python. And install now, okay. Okay, I want to install it. It's quite strange because Python usually does not ask me where to install the Python. Anyways, it's going to set up itself. Okay, so it has been installed successfully. And if you restart the command line, let's make sure that it has been installed successfully. So if you type the Python, as you can see, it is recognized as a command because it has been added to the class path. So that's why Windows command line is going to know that, okay, we just have to run the Python interpreter. And basically, if we print out that print, for example, hello world from command line with Python. Okay, as you can see, it's going to work fine. It is going to print it out to the command. In the next video, we are going to talk about how to install Liclips. Basically, the Liclips is the integrated development environment for Python. But to be honest, I'm going to use the command line. I have been using Linux for a while. And basically, I have no problem using the command line. We just have to write a script in a text editor, for example. It's going to be convenient. If we would develop an enterprise application, of course, it wouldn't be so effective to work in a text editor and using command line because just for algorithms when we are going to implement 20 to 100 lines of code it's going to be just fine. So in the next video we are going to install Liclips and then we are going to start implementing the algorithms. Thanks for watching.